everybody, Cindy out of here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I am doing pretty well. It's early in the morning, thankfully. Um, I finished my coffee and now I'm on to my Diet Dr. Pepper. But anyways, um, we're here today for my creative year. And as you saw last week, I used this little journal and I'm going to use it again because like I said, I'm on a, a roll to try to get this finished up so it's not sitting on my, you know, in process journals. Um, Today we're talking about, uh, still about self-expression, and we're talking about tools. Now, the tools I use for self-expression, uh, we all know. It's the artist tools. It's the paint, the paper, the markers, the glues, the, you name it, the die cuts, the stencils, okay? That is the actual physical tool. Now, the other tools that I use um, when I create or for my self-expression um, are a few things. One is emotions. Um, you know, when, when you have a bad day, you have a bad day. When you have a good day, you have a good day. I think the emotions show a lot in your art. Um, I do have some days that I have just plain raw journaling. I have days that I have... Um, you know, just really dark pages. Uh, and again, my, my feelings or my emotions uh, play into my art. Another thing that does is my imagination. Um, as you guys know, I just love to play. Again, this is not a finished journal, but this is just what I do for fun, okay? Um, this is where I use my imagination and I think about different ways that I want things to maybe look or, you know, um, your imagination, it, it works, right? The other thing is inspiration. Now, I will take inspiration from other places or maybe it's just a piece in a magazine that I see something, oh, I like that doodle. You know, it's a circle line, circle line, whatever the case may be. It's all inspiration to me. And I find inspiration everywhere. I mean, I'm sitting here right now looking at my desk. And in front of me, I have a picture of my husband and my granddaughter. And she has a tiara on. And that is just so cool. And I, you know, I just have that inspiration of wanting to do a princess. Not for this assignment, but that's just an example to show you. So what I'm going to do today is this is a page that's got some I think this is dilution paint yeah I'm pretty sure this is all dilution paints because this came from the class that I was taking with her so uh, this is all dilution paints I've got a black stencil that I put down and then I did these white doodads and put some white pen around them and that's it that's all I've done so far on this page so I'm gonna sit here today and I'm going to play with this page and I'm going to use my emotions today, which is just relaxing and calm. I'm going to use um, my imagination and I'll see what I can find for inspiration. And that's what I'm going to do today for my creative year. Um, as I'm sitting here looking at it, when I very first flipped this open, this was like, oh yeah, cool. Now I don't like the colors. So let's move on. Let's see what else we can find. All right, that's just... Meh. We'll leave that alone. Meh, meh. It really depends. Again, emotions, mood. Depends on what kind of mood I'm in. I like that one. Um, stand on the world you've created for yourself. Don't want to do another girl. There's a bunch of ladies. Oh, this looks more like my imagination today. Uh, let's just look and see if we see anything else. Those I don't like at all. Hmm. I don't want to do a blank one. That one's pretty cool. All right, we're going to play with this page today. And I automatically, just looking at this page, the first thing I see is this butterfly. See him? That's the very first thing I see. So what I may do is I may do a quick outline of that and decide to start painting the butterfly. I may throw some stencils down. I'm not sure. I am going to turn some music on and I am just going to let my imagination, my emotions, and the inspiration for today, I'm just going to let it fly. So I hope you guys enjoy this process. Um, I'll be back at the end. Enjoy.
right, guys, so I think I've uh, played with this enough and I've bored you enough. So here is my um, prompt for my creative year, which is tools. And these are the tools that I use when I do my, um, my art. And actually, you know, I use some of these with other things. For example, inspiration. I can get that out of a cookbook. Um, and make something cool. Imagination. Think about how you decorate your house. I mean, you don't, there's no, you know, set plan. The couch has to go here. The chair has to go here. I mean, you use your imagination and you do what's best for you. And, you know, so these three tools that I use um, can definitely be used not only in art, but also in your everyday life. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Sorry for the long video, but it was a lot of fun. I was really enjoying um, playing with it, playing with the butterfly, doing the little doodles and stuff in the background, and just I was having fun with it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.